seated position of your choice. I am sitting in Sukhasana, the easy pose with one shin crossing in front of the other. Important to try to always switch up what your default position is. If you always sit with the same leg in front, change it up once in a while. And then close the eyes, arriving fully here. Taking in whatever is present for you. Are you able to really open to this moment and embrace it for what it is? There is the energy of the full moon in the air, a powerful one. What does that mean? What does that mean for you? Just see if you can relate to the idea or the actual energy that is present. Getting present, noticing your breath, noticing any tension in the body, and you begin softening a little more. And as you relax the physical body, the mind starts to relax as well. And we're more likely to perceive the more nuanced aspects of ourselves when we're relaxed, when we are at ease. So just notice what you notice without looking for any specific sensation or feeling. Observe the rhythm of your breath and the different sensations that come along when you breathe in and when you breathe out. So many cycles to observe. The cycle of the breath, the cycle of the moon. So in our practice today, we will work with the energy of the full moon, honoring its very illuminating aspect. You know, when a new moon cycle starts, it's like a, an empty glass. And as the month goes on, we take in different emotions, different impressions, and we start filling up our glass. At the end of the moon cycle in the full moon, the glass is full. The glass is full. There's a lot in there. So we need to empty it out to start again, a new cycle. What are we willing to let go of? Which which cycles, your personal cycles have come to completion? What kind of emotions are being illuminated for you? What can you release? And movement helps with that release, right? So we're gonna do a more uh, fluid practice, not complicated, in fact, very simple, but we'll move around in a less linear way. And I invite you to, really be in your body, to not be caught up in the mind so much because the mind can complicate things. The practice is simple, but it requires that we're very open to it and allow that you know, feeling body to lead the way. So let's touch the floor by the hips. And on the inhalation, circle the arms, lift them up by the head. On the exhale, open the arms and touch the floor, getting taller. And again, inhale, a full moon all around, lifting the arms by head. Exhale, arms out, lower the hands, get tall. Two more times, inhale, full moon energy, honoring, honoring what's here. Exhale, contract the low belly, Empty out, let go of what's not serving you right now. Last time, inhale, expansion, lift up the arms. 
Exhale, open to lower, interlacing hands behind the hips this time, extend the arms and lift chest. Keep your chin slightly down, back of neck long. Relax your legs. Inhale, present moment awareness. Stay as you exhale completely, get empty. Once more, inhale to expand. Contract low belly, exhale all the air out. Now, as you release your hands, touch the floor once again by your hips and on the inhale, lift your right arm up. Walk your left fingers away, exhale, side stretch. Stay here, inhale into the right side of your rib cage and stay as you exhale. Returning to center, breathing in, lower the hand, breathing out. Left arm, inhale up. Right fingers walk away, exhale, side bend, stay. Inhale into the left side of your rib cage. Stay, exhale completely. Coming back up, breathing in. Lower the hand, breathe out. Rotate the shoulders up, back and down a few times without any stress accumulated around the neck and shoulders. And then with the shoulders back and down, join your palms together, creating an intention for practice. So I invite you to create the intention to be present with what's here, to the emotions that are coming up. Sometimes they're quite intense. Again, accumulation of the whole full moon, the whole moon cycle, right? So a lot can be present at this time of the month. Be with it, allow to allow yourself to release what's re ready to be released. Rub your palms against each other, create some heat. And then bring this warmth to cup the eyes. To cup the eyes and honor the darkness the darkness that is so important, the darkness that allows us to go in, be with it, and gently slide the hands down the face, bring the hands behind your neck and shoulders, massage the neck and shoulders. Transitioning onto the hands and knees, child's pose, Balasana. Take your time getting there. Sitting back onto the heels, the knees wide, torso close to the floor, forehead resting on something, floor, hands, blocks. Relax the shoulders and continue to observe your breath. Honoring cycles, cycles that come to completion and in that completion, in that peak of the fullness, there's an opportunity for release. Observe that happening in your breath. A new breath starts, fill up, fill up, fill up. Notice the peak and then breathe out, letting go of anything that is not serving you. With the arms straight forward by the head, spread the fingers wide. Come into downward facing dog, hips up and back. Bend one knee at a time, moving the hips from side to side, stretch out. And notice the cleansing power of movement. Movement is medicine. Movement helps stir up stagnant energy. And as we move the body and release tension, tightness from the body, we automatically release stuff from the mind, from the subtle body. Pause in center, gliding forward, inhale, plank. Lower knees to floor on the exhale, move the hips around in circles. So, 
a lot of emotional stuff is said to be stored around the hips area. So we're going to be doing some hip openers in the practice today, helping to release what's ready to be released. Move the opposite direction, freeing up the hip joints. Keep moving. I'm just going to check something. My mic doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. I guess it is. OK. Pausing back in center, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, please. As you inhale, lift up your chest and look forward, arcing your spine. And on the exhale, contract the low belly, round your back, bringing chin to chest. Let's inhale, lifting the chest, relax the shoulders and retain the breath in. Notice the peak, the fullness. Contract the low belly, exhale all the air out, round. Lift your chest as you breathe in, arcing your spine. Retain your breath in, hold, notice the fullness. Contract the low belly, exhale all the air out. I'm gonna start counting, see if you can stay with my count. Inhale, lift your chest for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause for two, one. Inhale, four, lift, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, rounding, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. In, four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Out for four, three, two, one. Hold for two. One, in, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Out, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. In, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Out, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, last time, one, inhale, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, inhale into your chest, arcing your spine, observe the fullness at the top, long neck, and then contract the low belly, exhale, breathing out anything that is not serving with a little pause at the bottom. Lift the chest once again, breathing in, arc your spine. Go back into a downward dog as you exhale. You may wanna walk your hands forward. Now bring your feet closer together. Inhale, lift your right leg up, turn your toes right. right. Bend your right knee opening your right hip, gaze at the left ankle, press equally into your hands and take one more breath here, opening the pelvis to the right. As you inhale, extend the right leg, square off your hips, step your right foot forward between your hands, lower left knee to floor, raise the arms, Anjaneyasana. Soften shoulders on the exhale. Inhale, extend the arms, arc the spine, belly in. Open the arms, exhale, lower the arms down. Reach forward, inhale, rotation of the shoulders. Open wide, exhale, lower the arms down. Couple more. Inhale, forward and up, belly in, lift the arms. Exhale, open and lower. Last time. Inhale, forward and up, tone in your low belly. Exhale, open and lower. Interlace hands behind your hips. Extend the arms, lift chest. Try curling the back toes. Can you lift your knee off the floor? If you need your hands on the floor to help you, that's fine. Otherwise, you just extend your leg. So we're on the ball of the left foot, opening up the chest. 
And then humble warrior, place your left heel to floor, lift up your chest, reach your chest forward, lower your head down, gaze at the left foot, reach your arms skyward. Notice if your hips are opening to the right and draw them back towards the back of your mat so they're not sticking out. Stay here in the humble warrior, honoring the completion of cycles. Grateful for all the lessons of this last moon cycle. Ready to let go of the things that don't need to be carried forward onto the, the new cycle. Reach the chest forward, lower your hands to floor, come back to the ball of the left foot, and then lower your left knee down. Walk your hands back a little bit towards your left knee. Lift your uh, foot up, toes up. Inhale, reach your chest towards the right ankle and soften over the right leg as you exhale. Relax your shoulders. To deepen the stretch, you could reach with your left hand crossing over the foot, drawing the outer edge of the right foot back, the right outer hip back. Relax the neck, be with your breath, be in your body. Hmm. Just one more breath here. Stay as you exhale. Rebend the right knee. Walk your hands forward in line with your foot. Extend the left leg, knee up. Right hand to hip, gaze over the shoulder, reach your right arm up. Draw the shoulder heads back. Maintain the waist long on the right side, bending the front knee a lot. Let's take one more breath here. Then bring the right hand back down and place it on the inside of your right foot. As you walk your right foot to the right, lower the left knee down, turn your right toes to the right, and then see if it's possible to come down to your forearms or you can take blocks under your forearms. Allow your right knee to open out. The hips are heavy. Relax your neck. It's okay to let the head lean forward. A gentle engagement in the lower abdominals to protect your back as you stay here. And then let's add a twist. Bring the right hand to right hip, look over the right shoulder, open chest. You can stay here or bend the left knee and reach for the top of the foot. Navel in, don't push, don't force. If this is too much, skip the bending of the knee, right? We're just starting. We're not looking for intense sensations. Just one more breath. Letting go of the foot if you have it. Everybody can bring the hands down, both of them, lifting the torso, walk the right foot back in line with the right hip and then curl the back toes, step into plank, one breath in plank. Both knees down, sit into child's pose. Inhale, come forward onto your hands. Move your chest forward, bend the elbows, lower to the belly, all the way down. Lift up the chest, inhale, little cobra. Exhale, lower the forehead, curl the toes, push up, plank or knees. Downward dog, all the way back. We'll do the same sequence with the other side. So feet coming closer together, lift your left leg up, turn your toes out, bend your left knee. Opening the hips to the left. Gaze at the right ankle, press into both hands. The shoulders can be equally high up off the floor. Stay with your breath, be in the body. Let this be about the feeling, the feeling that's present for you right now. With the inhale, extend your left leg, square off your hips. Step the foot forward between your hands, lower right knee down, Anjaneyasana, raise the arms by head, crescent lunge. Soften the shoulders, opening the front of the right hip. Take another breath, inhale. We're opening the arms, exhale, lower them down. Reach them forward, inhale up, rotation of the shoulders. Exhale, open and lower, move to your breath, two more. Belly in, inhale, lift. Exhale, open and lower. Last one. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, open. Interlace hands behind your hips the opposite way. Extend the arms, chest up. 
From here, if you can, curl the back toes and lift the back knee off the floor or take your hands to the floor and then lift it up. Inhale here. Place your right heel down. Prepare for humble warrior. Lift the chest. Chest forward, left shoulder inside of knee. Gaze at the back foot. Reach your hands up. Arms are straight. Arc in the right foot is lifting. Draw the outer left hip back so it's not sticking out. The waist is long. Stay. Grateful for the lessons. Grateful for the cycles that are coming to an end so we can start fresh, start new. Inhale, chest forward, hands to floor. Come into a lunge for a moment and then lower your right knee down. Walk your uh, hands back, extending the front leg. Inhale, chest forward. Fold over the left leg as you exhale. Right hand can reach over across the foot, drawing the outer edge back. Relax the shoulders. Breathing here. Surrendering to what's here, to what's present, to any emotions that come up, any thoughts that come up without getting attached to what we encounter. Very good. We're bending the front knee again. And then from here, extend the back leg, left hand to hip, look over the shoulder and reach the left arm up. Draw the shoulder heads back, keep the waist long, and take one more breath, bending the front knee. As you lower your left hand, bring it to the inside of the foot, walk the left foot out to the left, lower your right knee down and turn your left toes out to the left. Here, you may try coming down to your forearms. You can prop yourself, of course. Keep the waist long on the left side. Relax tension from the face, unclenching the jaw, releasing tongue. And then bring your left hand to your left hip, adding a twist, open chest. Left arm can reach up if you like, or you can bend the right knee and hold the top of your foot. Relax the shoulders, encouraging opening, encouraging release without forcing, without rushing, things that are perhaps not ready to be released. There's no rush. Very slowly, we release the foot if we have it, bring the hand down and walk ourselves back up, left foot in line with the hip, plant the hands, curl the toes, step into plank, inhale, lower both knees, sit back, child's pose on the exhale. Come right forward onto the hands, inhale, bend the elbows, lower to the belly, exhale. Lift up the chest, inhale, little cobra. Exhale, lower forehead, curl toes, push up, plank, breathe in, breathe out, downward dog. Inhale here, expand, exhale, release. Inhale, lift up the heels, exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop between hands, flattening back, inhale, fold over legs, exhale, stay. Stay in the forward fold, feet hip distance apart. The back of the body, according to yoga psychology, corresponds to past. So as we open the back of the body, we're encouraging whatever is in the past that doesn't need to move into the new cycle to be released. Breathe it out, let it go. With the knees slightly bent, we'll roll up the spine, come into stand. Shoulders up, back and down. Join the hands together at the heart. So moon in Sanskrit is Chandra, right? And we often do Surya Namaskar, sun salutation in this class, which we will do. But I invite you to look at it more as a Chandra Namaskar, saluting the energy of the moon today, that illumination, that grandiosity, that helps us see truth, that clarity, that bright light of the full moon, okay? And move in a fluid way, 
We're gonna have some variations of the flow. Let's chant Om Chan Chandraya Namaha three times, honoring the energy of the moon. Inhale. Om Cham Chandraya Namaha. Om Chan Chandraya Namaha. Om Chan Chandraya Namaha. Circle the arms like a full moon all around. Fold, exhale, bow. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows and lower down. Lift the heart, inhale, open chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, nourishment of the moon, the feminine qualities of the moon. Be with it. With the inhalation, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop between the hands, flatten the back, breathe in. Folding down, breathe out, bend the knees to roll up, circle wide, inhale, reach high. Exhale to heart. Inhale now from the chest, reach up. Reach forward and fold down as you exhale, bow. Step your right foot back. Inhale, lift the arms by the head in warrior one, right heel to floor. Open into warrior two as you exhale wide. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down fluidly. Exhale, both hands lightly touch the floor, either side of the foot. Walk your hands to the right. Inhale, bring your feet parallel and your legs straight. Fold over both legs as you exhale, release your head down. Inhale, reach your chest forward again, open heart. Walk to the end of your mat. Exhale, bend the right knee. Raise your arms into warrior one at the end of the mat. Open into warrior two. Exhale, open your arms. All simple poses. Lift your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, both hands down, either side of your right foot. Come into a lunge. Stay as you breathe in. Stay as you breathe out. Plant your hands. Inhale, step into plank. Exhale, knees to floor. Sit back into child's pose. Come right forward onto the hands. Inhale. Bend the elbows halfway down as you exhale. Lift your chest. Inhale, open your heart. Downward dog, exhale all the way back. It's all very simple. Don't get caught up in the mind. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Step your foot forward between the hands. Exhale, right heel down. Warrior one, end of the mat. Inhale, lift your arms. Warrior two, open your arms wide. Left arm up, right hand down, breathe in. Both hands touch the floor lightly by the side of your left foot. Walk your hands to the right edge of the mat, feet parallel and legs straight. Fold between your legs, release your head down as you exhale. Reach your chest forward, open heart forward, inhale. Walk to the front of the mat, turn your right toes forward as you exhale. Inhale, lift your arms into warrior one. Open into warrior two, exhale. Inhale, right arm up, left hand down. Both hands to the floor, exhale, step right into plank. Inhale in plank, bend the elbows, exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Lift your chest as you breathe in. Downward dog as you breathe out. Stay as you inhale. Stay here as you exhale completely. Lift your heels, breathe in. Breathe out, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop between your hands, inhale to a flat back. Fold down, bend your knees as you exhale. Roll up, circle the arms, a full moon illuminating all around. Exhale into the heart. Other side, the same thing. Inhale, be in the body, not in the mind. Reach forward, exhale, fold. It's all simple. Left foot back, heel to floor. Inhale, raise your arms. Virabhadrasana one. Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, open the arms. Right arm up, left hand down, breathe in. Both hands touch the floor lightly as you breathe out. 
Walk to the left, feet parallel and legs straight, inhale. Fold, exhale between your legs, head down. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Walk to the end of the mat, bending the left knee, left toes point back, prepare for warrior one, raise the arms, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down. Exhale, both hands touch the floor. Stay in a lunge, lift the right foot up, inhale. Stay here, anchor through your hands as you exhale. Step the left foot back, breathe in. Both knees down, sit back, child's pose as you breathe out. Forward onto your hands, inhale. Bend the elbows, exhale, lower. Lift the chest, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Step your foot between the hands, exhale, left heel down, warrior one. Inhale, lifting the arms. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, right arm up, left hand down. Exhale, hands lightly touch the floor. Walk the hands to the left, inhale, feet parallel, legs straight. Fold between the legs, exhale, release your head. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Walk to the front of the mat, bend your left knee as you exhale, warrior one, raise the arms, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down. Exhale, both hands to the floor, stepping right into plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for one breath. Exhale, breathe out. Any mental confusion. <laughs> Inhale, lift up your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, flat back, breathe in. Fold as you breathe out, bend the knees and stay for a moment. Interlace your hands behind the hips, extend the arms up and overhead. So see if you got caught up on the mind. Maybe the sequence was a little challenging, a little confusing, but it's all postures that we do in every class on Saturday, nothing new. We just did it in a more fluid way, less linear, to encourage the steering of accumulated stale energy in the body. With the knees bent, reach your chest forward, lift your chest, keep your hips low, and then release your hands and reach them up by the head, Utkatasana. Let the hips be heavy, keep the heart open, the chest open, the arms by the, the head, just one more breath, ungrip your toes, ungrip the floor, I should say, relax your toes. And then inhale, lift the chest, open heart. Exhale, lower the arms. Let's move into a balancing pose. Find a focal point, a simple vrikshasana tree. Bend your right knee, open it out, and lift the foot up the leg. Join the hands together. Lift the sternum into your thumbs, connect to your heartbeat. Let there be stability and a sense of ease without needing to get rigid at all, without tensing up the eyes. Tone in the low belly, get a little taller. The breath slows down. Bring your right knee forward. Can you hug the knee in, relaxing any tension from the low back, hug it in, hands interlace in front of the shin. And then we lower the foot back down, reground. Other side, simple, bend the left knee, open it out, foot up. Hands touch. Lifting heart, soften gaze. Notice the quality of your presence. Notice what the new sequence of flowing around the mat like a mandala kind of form 
uh, what does it do for you? What did, what did it do? How did it affect you? Stay here, curious about this moment, your experience. And to come out of Rikshasana, bring your knee back forward, hug it in, interlace your hands in front of the shin, relaxing left lower back area, and then lower your foot back down. We anchor, we ground. Inhale, circle your arms, lift up. Fold over legs, exhale, bow. Step your right foot back, heel to floor. Inhale, raise the arms up. Open into warrior two as you exhale, moving into triangle pose. Extend your left leg, left arm up, right hand down. Exhale the left arm forward and down, right arm up. Simple triangle pose. Open up the chest. Firm through your feet, through your legs long through the spine, easy in the breath, open in the heart. We're moving into a balancing pose from here. You might like to use a block under your left hand, it's optional. Start bringing your right hand to your right hip. Bend the left knee, bring your left hand in front of the foot and to the left a little bit. Step your right foot forward just a touch and then Weight on the left foot, left hand, lift the right leg parallel to the floor for the half moon pose at the Chandrasana. Draw navel into spine, turn your toes to the right and lift your right arm up. Now be so light on the left hand that eventually it can just float off the floor, off the block. Easy breathing. In Arda Chandrasana, half moon pose. Just one more breath here. From here, slowly bring both hands to the floor, square off the hips for a moment. Your right toes are pointing down. Reach your chest forward beyond the fingertips and then fold over your left leg. Keep your right leg parallel to the floor energize, pressing back through the heel, lift the left outer hip higher off the floor, maintain the waist long on the left side, and just one more breath here. Very slowly bend the front knee, step your right foot back, and then we're walking the hands back in line with the left foot, extending the front leg, both legs are straight, reach your chest forward, fold over your left leg, Now, can you bring a little more weight to the right foot and lift your left toes off the floor so you're on the left heel. Draw the outer left hip back. Stay here. Just one more breath. Without rushing the cycle. Bring your left toes back down to the floor. Bend the front knee and step your right foot back into a lunge. Lower your right knee down. Lift your torso upright. Left hand to hip, right arm to sky. Deep breath in. Twist left. Elbow on the outside of the leg for a twist. Open your chest. Bring your hands together. If you like more challenge, you can curl the right toes under and lift your knee off the floor. This is optional. Keep your neck long, the face soft. Smooth breaths, unrushed. Nature cannot be rushed, the breath cannot be rushed. There's a nice saying found in those yogi teas. <laughs> uh, it says that nature cannot be rushed, it never rushes yet everything gets accomplished. Come back to center, lower your hands, lower your right knee down, we'll come into pigeon from here. Walk your left foot over to the right, your left shin bone down, slide the right knee back, 
hips close to floor, open your chest. You can stay here or you can come to the forearms. And I encourage you to let your forehead rest on something. Keep the left hip back, adjust as needed. And then can you soften into the shape? Can you release, relinquish the need to control? Be with your breath, be aware of your rhythm, the cycle of the breath, the peak, the fullness, an opportunity to breathe out what's not serving. Couple more breaths here, unrushed. And then we'll slowly lift up the chest, plant the hands down, curl the back toes under, step into downward facing dog all the way back. Stay in downward dog. Notice the differences between the two sides. Move around as you like. Let's take a vinyasa. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, urdhva mukha svanasana. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. <sighs> Lift up the heels, breathe in. Breathe out, bend the knees. Look forward, step or hop. Flat back, inhale, fold down, exhale, bend the knees and roll up, coming to stand, circle the arms, full moon energy, bring it to your heart, exhale, inhale, lift your arms, folding down, exhale, bow, we'll do the other side, same sequence, left foot back, heel to floor, Virabhadrasana one, raise the arms. Virabhadrasana two, open them wide, moving into trikonasana, extend the front leg, breathe in, reach forward and down, breathe out. Left arm extends up, stabilize, be here, be in your body, feel it, feel all that is to feel right now. We can't heal what we can't feel. So we allow ourselves to feel what we're ready to feel. <sighs> Preparing to go into full moon, uh, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left hand to hip. Gaze at the floor, block is optional, bend the front knee, right hand in front of the foot, a little bit to the right, step your left foot forward a touch, and then all the way to the right leg, right foot, left leg lifts parallel to floor, we turn the toes left, extension of the arm up. Open chest, right hand so light, eventually it lifts off the floor maybe, or maybe it st just stays lightly touching something. Strength without tension. One more breath. Bringing now both hands to floor, square off the hips with the left toes pointing down. Inhale, chest forward, lift the right outer hip up and fold over the right leg. Stay here for a moment with the left leg parallel to the floor, the toes pointing down. We're bending the front knee, walking the hands back in line with the right foot. And from this lunge, we'll straighten the front leg and adjust your feet. So both feet can be entirely on the floor. Reach your chest forward for a moment and fold over the right leg. Relax your neck. You could have blocks under your hands, of course. Draw the outer right hip back. And we continue to honor the full moon cycle to open up the back of the body and release anything associated with the past that we're not carrying forward into the new cycle. Lift the right toes up, stay on the heel of the right foot, just a couple breaths here. 
Keep drawing the outer right hip back. And then we'll bring the right foot back down, bend the front knee, step the left foot back, lower the left knee down. Lift torso upright, left arm up, right hand to hip, deep breath in. Twist right, elbow low on the outside of leg, open chest, palms touch, elbows out. Maybe the back leg extends, curling the toes, knee lifts. Easy breathing and rushed. Remember, in nature, nothing rushes yet. Everything gets accomplished. What if we just allow our natural cycles to be here without needing to rush through stuff, trusting nature? Let's slowly return to center, plant the hands down. Step into plank, one breath. Lower both knees, sit into child's pose for a moment as you breathe out and stay. Stay in child's pose. Soften here, soften. Take another breath, inhale, observe the peak, fullness. Contract the low belly, exhale, notice the emptiness. Come forward, inhale a new breath. Bend the elbows, exhale, chaturanga modified on the knees. Lift your chest, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Observe the quality of your mind without attaching to stories, just witnessing. Inhale, lift up your heels. Exhale, bend knees, look forward, step or hop. I forgot, I forgot, sorry, I forgot uh, the pigeon, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go to pigeon, sorry about that. So uh, the right foot is forward, the shin bone is down. Yeah, pigeon, pigeon everyone? Yes, okay, open up the chest, my apologies, and fold. <sighs> Allowing your head to rest, your forehead to rest, and be here. Be here with the right side of the low back long. Be with your breath. So present, so aware. Rushing nothing. Let's stay for our final breath, exhaling completely. And then we slowly come on up onto the hands. We curl the back toes and we step into downward dog. So again, notice both sides of the hips, both legs. Let's take our final vinyasa together. Inhale, plank forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. A full breath in and a slow breath out, complete without rush. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, knees bend, look forward, step or hop between the hands, flatten the back as you breathe in. Fold over legs as you breathe out, bend your knees and roll up, circle the arms, inhale, reach high. Exhale, namaskar. Inhale from the chest, reach up once again. We're folding down, exhale, bow. Halfway up, look ahead, breathe in. Bend your knees and sit on the floor as you breathe out. Extend both of your legs forward, Paschimottanasana. So inner rotation in the legs, big toes close together. Inhale, reach your arms up. 
Exhale, chest forward. See if you can possibly grab the outsides of your feet. Bend the knees if that's not happening. Try grabbing your feet even if you need to bend your knees, okay? Soften the shoulder blades down the back. Relax your neck. Maintain your big toes close together, inner rotation in your legs, maybe extending the legs a tiny bit more. Once again, breathe into your back. Observe the peak of your breath and contract the low belly as you exhale, releasing anything from the past that no longer is relevant. When you finish the next exhalation here in Paschimottanasana, lift up your chest. Sit tall, extend your legs forward. Point your feet with room behind you to lie down, reach your arms forward, shoulder height, inhale. Round your back as you exhale, coming down slowly to the floor, slowly, slowly, slowly. Once your head is down, hug in your knees. Relax your back. Observe your breath. And we're moving in a very simple vinyasa now. Again, please get out of the mind, be in the body, simple. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale, move your knees away from your chest, forward. As you exhale, draw the knees back into your chest. Extend your legs up towards the sky, flexing your feet. Inhale, your arms up by the head. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms by the waist and bring your feet to the floor, hip distance apart. Stay here, inhale into your belly, only the belly expands. Contract the belly as you exhale, send your low back to the floor. Lift your hips up high, inhale into a little bridge where not staying. Exhale, lower down your back, hips to the floor, hug your knees back into chest. It's simple, inhale, move your knees away from the chest. Exhale, bring your knees back into the chest. Extend your legs up. Inhale, your arms by the head onto the floor. Flex your feet. Exhale, bend your knees. Lower the arms by the waist and the feet to the floor, hip distance. Stay down. Inhale, let your belly expand, arcing in the low back. Exhale, contract your low belly. Send the low back to the floor. Lift up your hips into a little bridge. Inhale, high. Exhale, upper back down, hips down last, hug your knees back into the chest. One more cycle. Inhale, move your knees forward. Exhale, draw the knees back. Extension of your legs up, arms by the head. Breathe in, arms on the floor if possible. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms by the waist and your feet to the floor. Stay. Inhale, only the belly expands, arcing in the low back a bit. Contract the belly as you exhale, the pelvis tilts back. Lift up your hips, inhale, high. Exhale, lower down your spine, hug in the knees, pause. Inhale here. Stay as you exhale, let your knees open wide. Happy baby, lift the soles of your feet up, grab the outer edges of your feet. Press down with your hands, sacrum heavy. So once again, it was a simple sequence, familiar poses, yet something different. Honoring the creative, aspect of the moon, the feminine aspect. So we may start a new cycle, open to different possibilities, open to doing things differently. We'll slowly bring the feet to floor, mat distance apart. If you like to pad your head 
with a pillow or a blanket, do that now. Reach your arms up skyward and then hold the elbows, pointing the elbows up. Inhale here. Exhale, both knees turn right and the elbows left. We come into a twist. Come back to center, breathing in, arms and elbows up or arms and feet and knees. Exhale, lower. Inhale, the elbows and the knees point up. Exhale, the knees point right and the elbows point left. Center as you breathe in, elbows and knees up. Breathe out the knees left and the elbows right. Back to center, breathe in. One more time, breathe out, knees point right, elbows left. Come back to center, breathing in. Knees point left, elbows right, breathe out. Inhale to center, pause here, exhale your arms by the head comfortably. You can open your arms as much as you like. Hug your knees into chest without using your hands. Wiggle the hips forward, space in the low back. And then try extending your legs up in a simple viparita karani without the wall. Oftentimes this is done with a wall supporting the legs, but today just be here. Adjust the shoulder blades down the back. We won't hold long. Feel your feet floating in the air. Notice the sensations in your legs. Be with your breath. Be in your body. Last breath here. As we rebend the knees, we can lower the left foot on the floor and cross the right ankle over the left thigh, thread the needle. Interlace hands behind the left leg. Use your right arm to gently press against the thigh bone. Create space in the low back. Maintain your waist long on both sides, your hips equally far away from your armpits and be here. Let this be a time to just be present without needing to figure anything out. Just trusting, trusting the practice. As we move the body through these different shapes, with intention to stay present, to free up energy channels, to release what's not serving. We trust the power of the practice, the healing aspects. Just one more breath. The left foot will come down and the right foot will come down. And do the other side. Left ankle crosses over. Interlace hands. Again, you can use your left arm to gently press against the thigh bone, maintaining space in the lumbar area of the spine in the left side of the low back, the quadratus lumborum. Be here. No rush. No decisions to be made in this moment. Pure awareness. Watching what's here witnessing what comes up, no judgment. All is valid, all is important.
Just another breath. And we'll lower the right foot down, the left foot down. And we'll have the one last twist, the right knee in. Extend the left leg down. Push the right arm out. Left hand guides the knee across the body over to the left. Right hip away from shoulder. It doesn't have to be a deep twist. Check in and see what you need right now. Maintain the right shoulder down, the waist long on the right side. Breathe in. Nourishment. Breathe out. Anything that may be weighing you down. Creating space in the body, mind, heart. Space for a new cycle, a new beginning. Finishing the exhalation, bring your knee up and hug it in once again. And lift your left knee up, right foot to the floor, extending that leg down. Left arm reaches out. We bring the left knee across the body, turning the head left, relax the left shoulder and keep left hip away from shoulder. Aware of any emotions that come to surface, any feelings. Resisting nothing. Attaching to nothing. Letting it come, letting it go. Just like the breath. Inhale, notice the peak. Exhale. Notice the release. As we finish the exhalation here, we'll bring the knee back up, hug it in. Right knee comes up, keeping your knees together, the hands on the kneecaps, patella, move the knees away from chest and just hold, sacrum heavy. If you like, you can move the knees side to side together. Do what you need to do for your body to feel complete, more at ease. And when you feel Ready, enter the final resting pose, Shavasana. Getting easy, take the time, it's worth it. If there's lower back tenderness, elevating of the legs can be very helpful with pillows or even the blocks. Shoulder blades down the back, maybe covering the body, maybe an eye pillow. Palms facing up, allowing 
the body to be at ease, encouraging a state of receptivity, trust, Observe your body resting on the floor. You can visualize it resting. Notice the support of the earth beneath you. Be aware of the energy of the full moon that is present. The same way the full moon affects the ocean, the tides, it affects us. It affects everything, it's all connected. How does it affect you? Can you allow the soft glow of the full moon to nourish you? Rest as if taking a moon bath. A healing bath. The feet relax, all the toes, ankles, calves, shins, knees, thighs, hips, the area of the pelvis, pelvic floor, or the abdominal organs the chest, the rib cage, the heart, the lungs, the upper back, middle back, lower back, the shoulders, Upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists. The hands, all the fingers. Throat, neck. Chin, lips, tongue, jaw, cheeks, ears, eyes, nose. Center of the eyebrows, forehead, crown, scalp, brain. Continue to witness your physical body relaxing. aware of your energy body as well. Bring attention to the base of the spine, the area of the tailbone, Muladhara Chakra. Visualize a point of red light at the base of the spine. Move into the pelvic floor, Svaristana Chakra, visualizing a point of orange light at the pelvic floor. Higher into the solar plexus, Manipura Chakra, a point of yellow light at the solar plexus. Higher into the chest, Anahata chakra, very center of the chest, a 
point of green light. Higher at the throat, Vishuddha chakra, point of turquoise light at the throat. Point between the eyebrows, Agnya chakra, a point of light, dark blue, indigo blue, right between the eyebrows. At the top of the head, beyond the physical body, a point of white light, Sahasrara chakra. Resting in the glow of the full moon. Let that glow illuminate your entire body. Healing what it needs healing. If you'd like to stay lying down longer, you can stay. Or you can start to gently move your hands and your feet, your ankles and your wrists, stretching out. Hugging in the knees. Take your time rolling over to one side, honoring this new cycle that begins after the fetal position. Leaving behind what's not serving. As you come to sitting, find a tall spine. At the very center of your eyebrows, visualize a full moon. Bright, large, in a clear sky. A beautiful, nourishing, healing full moon. Relax your forehead, soften the space between the eyebrows and hold the vision of a bright full moon. Honor what is being illuminated for you. What this moon is shining light on. What it is helping you see Be with it, with patience, with tenderness. Feel the soft glow of this moon. To close the practice, we'll join the hands in gratitude, Anjali Mudra, honoring the light of awareness within, the light of awareness within all of us. And we'll chant the sound of Om, deep breath in. If 
you have the time and would like to sit in meditation longer, I encourage you to do that. Namaste.